All right, it's about 6 p.m. I'd like to open the meeting of the Woodbury Town Select Board for August 22nd, <clears throat> 2022. Um, so we start with an open meeting. So any public comment? People who are here for that aren't on the agenda. Oh, OK. OK. We'll move on to adjustments to the select board agenda. Diana, any adjustments? Mm. No, nothing. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. And with no adjustments, public comment is sort of a moot point. Mm. Um, we have started to approve bills and payroll orders. Those will be finished uh, after the meeting. We've approved the minutes from the July 18th special board meeting, and we've also approved the minutes from the August 8th regular meeting. So the next on our agenda is uh, board resignation and appointment. So I'll introduce that by saying that Peter Peltz, who um, has been on the board this last session, um, is going to have to step down for personal reasons, um, leaving us with a two-member select board, um, which we, Diana and I agree, is not quite appropriate. Um, so we uh, regret that Peter is not going to be with us. Um, he's a great ally and has been in this town a very long time and knows things really, really well, and we wish him the best. Um, but that said, um, we have to move towards uh, a temporary appointment to fill the select board until the next election cycle. Next question. Please. Uh, when is the effective date of this resignation? Last Monday. Last Monday. So, but he's unfortunately been absent for a number of things for a while. Um, and this was a conversation that we had all together, and just agreed that. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't probably feasible for him to stay on on the board for lots of lots of reasons. So we have to move into an appointment process in order to do this. We've had conversations with two individuals um, who've been willing to step into that role. One of them is here. It's Michael Gray. Um, Michael has been on the select board in the past and done a tremendous amount of work. Um, and Diane and I agreed that if he was willing to have him step into the select board role until we could formally elect someone at our next town meeting to finish Peter's um, term, and then we'd have another three-year election, election for another three years, that that would be appropriate given his depth of experience. Why wouldn't you go back to the election of the next person? I know you don't have to, but yeah. like, what you you election of the well, Jason was the next one with the highest votes. We had for a that position. Mm -hmm. I'm just I don't understand mm -hmm. what you would want to do with the wishes of the voters. That's not unreasonable. I don't think it's so. not unreasonable at all. Yeah, but still, it's a hell of a job, and to have somebody step but, in who can help us um, is really I'm really thankful that Michael's willing to do that. It it's like more already, more work than it was when I did it, it twenty years ago. It sounds like Michael's already doing all your job, anyways. I mean, <laughs> all the grants and well, not all of them, well, but the, no some of the road, road stuff, stuff that yeah. you guys should be doing. Oh, really? Okay. Well, he, was, he was doing it. He was, he, he was on the side board. I mean, That's right, and he agreed. Did. And when we agreed to run, Peter and I, Michael agreed to stay on and take care of the road stuff in the meantime. Uh, I've been getting paid for that too, Punky, so. <laughs> now, Peter did call. I spoke with Peter, um, actually, and his son, Alex, too, um, asking me to, Peter called it returning a, a favor, because basically uh, Peter and I did talk about um, his running after I had decided not to run um, for you know, different personal reasons. Um, and given the circumstances for Peter, to me it feels like the right thing to do to, to finish out um, his term. The right thing for myself, personally, feeling. Um, but uh, 
you know, I, I want to do what's right for the town too. So if there are people that feel that there should be some type of special election or something, um, I'd like to make a motion that we appoint Michael Gray to the select board for the next six months. And I can tell you that I will not be running for another term <laughs> after a town meeting. So that, so that really doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you want to groom somebody new? Michael, because I'm sure it's too would much work. True. Michael, I'm sure, would work with him. Yeah. I'm sure Peter would. I mean, right, right. I'd be on board. I people who don't, you know, people want to call for a special meeting. I know. Too, can. You can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or go and step in. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if Michael's not going to, if he's just going to work on it for six months, why wouldn't you want to groom somebody that possibly can be on for the future? And consider running. Well, and consider running again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. I mean, I know it doesn't fit your agenda, Diana, but. Yeah. Oh, well. It is a lot of work. You might I think understand. he's doing all the work, but if you know it's a lot yes, of other things besides roads. I do understand. Yeah, I mean, so I just think you should. I made a motion. Well, we have people suggesting that a we have two other options, and I think that we should have to we'll have to consider those other options now that they've been brought up. I'm afraid that I'm compelled to consider those other options. We have three weeks before this next select board meeting. And I think that we'll go into executive session and we'll have a discussion about what really are the, the, option, the options that you all brought up, which is to select the next most votes. Mm -hmm. The option of holding a special election, which takes us a little while. So we would be in a two-person select board for an extended period of time because we have to warn that. 60 days at a minimum, um, or consider the request by Peter Peltz to have Michael Gray fill in his temporary, as a temporary for his term. Those would be the three options that we consider. So you're suggesting that Jason would be a better alternative? And I'd like to ask you what your, what your qualifications are. Have you been Following all the stuff we do and We're following some of it, some of it, yeah. And well, I mean, you don't, it doesn't need to be grilled. I mean, obviously, what? it doesn't need to be grilled. Obviously, oh, grilled. Michael, Michael <laughs> is the most qualified at this time. Thing. Yeah. But I mean, sure again, sorry, I'm sure it won't be a problem. It's just learning the new things, what's going on in the town, and, and understand how the process works is the main thing. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's not that much to it. I mean, if we go and go to a special election, he would have to be interviewed also. That's right. Any other comments that people would like to make in regards to the filling of this temporary? It would still have to be a temporary position regardless. No, if you had a special election. We had a special election that could fill for the two and a half years to re to replace that position if it was an election. Yep. That would be a... But that election would only happen in March. If you had an election now, it's just still filling it That's until correct. March. I'm sorry, Monty. It would only be a fill... It would, be a t it would still be a temporary position because mm -hmm. we can't do it until town, uh, until town meeting. We can't refill the position until town meeting. So it would still, unfortunately, be temporary. Yeah, Peter was elected for a one-year term. For a one-year term. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Mr. I apologize. <clears throat> I'd like to say something on Mike's behalf. Yeah, go ahead. He's been real good to work with ever since I've taken over the road commissioner. Uh, he's been very helpful. <clears throat> Knows a lot of stuff. Um, Jason, I have nothing against him either, but I have worked with Mike. And I guess that's all I've got to say. We've never had a conversation or anything to know me. Right, so. right. All right. So <clears throat> we will have to move into executive session to consider that. Um, 
but we will have to make a decision one way or the other, hopefully before mm -hmm. the next um, select board meeting so that we could announce the decision publicly. Any other comments or questions? Okay. Um, Ms. Durkee, can we do the town clerk's report, please? I'm still um, winding up the primary election. I put the participation into this Secretary of State's database today. And starting back up on my recordings again. Oh, and if, we, if the town is ever low on money, <laughs> we have had somebody that had, would like to purchase the town forest. I could purchase the entire town forest. Yep. <laughs> so oh just goodness. something to keep on the back burner. <laughs> Can we ask? Oh, no. Who is it? Yeah, it's a Lauren Bailey lands out of Jamaica, New York. <laughs> I thought maybe it was Bill looking for a project. <laughs> did they make a pro did they <laughs> <laughs> did they make a proposal? Did they give an offer? They did not. Oh well. No. Were there any mm. stipulations in there? I mean, would they hypothetically develop it? I guess it's the... No, it doesn't say that. So we really need to figure that part out. <laughs> yeah. go down that road. <laughs> there are some scams going around. All right, so Robin, what was the total number of votes? I should know I counted them, but... 230. 230. So that was only about a, maybe 15% return? Turn out? It was 175 that walked through the door and 55 mm -hmm. was absentee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else, Mrs. Turkey? No, that's it. Okay. Um, Ms. Brandy, would you give us the town treasurer's report, please? Okay. Well, mine's short and sweet. Um, I didn't create a, a treasurer's report due to doing tax deposit today and getting everything done. Um, this is um, an error that was not mm. caught again. Um, by the listers, we were taxed on a parcel of the, the old store. Mm -hmm. um, so it needs to be abated by the select board because um, those that tax money was not uh, was included as far as money being raised. Uh -huh. The other thing I received a call today from I'm not an, an anonymous caller because I'm not going to throw her <laughs> under the bus, um, sh but uh, she had a a very legit complaint of. Um, why does she need to worry year to year on um, making sure she can still have her house and pay her taxes when her neighbor is five years behind and is just building his cult? Um, and it's his very, what? His group, his cult, his... Oh, his cult, okay, yeah. And, and um... I don't like having to answer to that because mm -hmm. I don't think she should have to be worried about take, paying her tax bill. But yeah. So I'd like to make a motion that we abate the tax bill that was sent erroneously to the town of Woodbury for $304.83. And That amount must be from back when the and store this was, was there. Also taxed last year. Yeah, yeah. right. For some reason, it, we had to do the same thing last year, and it they thought they deleted it, but they didn't. They didn't. So. I'll second that motion. Yeah. Do you need something more in writing or anything, or? No, I'll need the minutes because the okay. CPA it has to be CPA. Okay. okay. We can't put it in writing. 
Oh, no, the minutes. Once the minutes, minutes are printed, minutes are printed and signed, it's good. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Then it's not like me just going, oh, uh, you don't have to pay that one. But the thing is, so I encourage this person to make a comment to the select board or to the delinquent tax collector because it's not in my hands. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason why they shouldn't have gone to the sale already, in my opinion. Yeah, don't we have like five places that were supposed to go to tax sale? And somehow they come up with them, I don't remember. You don't remember that? I mean, I don't remember about the list. I know a lot of people have gotten caught up by that state program that was helping people pay, but well, the person they're talking about has not connected to government enough to well, take advantage of that. Not that he should, yeah. but... If you know. someone in town is helping other people, they should help. No, nobody in town is helping other people. No, it was, had, it was grants and aid. It had to be applied for. And it was federal money. Yeah. So it wasn't run through us. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And then Brandy, I'm sure that I'm going to apply for a grant for that. Brand, Brandy sent a, uh, yeah, sent a note in with all the tax bills, telling people about that as an option. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm sure. Um, I, yeah, I I helped Adam and yeah. I helped George Larrabee. Right. I don't have yeah. the list. People who really me. didn't have the. Uh, the uh, okay. option to do all the computer work themselves. So maybe this lady can hold the guy in. We act well. I never mind. <laughs> it's it's really not funny because when you help these drug houses out like that, you keep it in town. And then they move to other places in town, and it gets really tiring. Well, you wanted it to be gone, so now it's gone. But it's not gone. It's not gone. Well, it's he's just recreating. Well, no, somebody. He's not going to pay this year's. <clears throat> no, I mean the drug part. Oh no, the drugs are still there. Oh yeah, there we had anyway. that we had a bowl with weed in it and a pocketbook on our front step when we walked into work, so it's still there when we leave work. They're in the parking lot using the Wi-Fi, waiting for their drug deals to That happen. guy that lives up above the garage? He comes over with his pit bull, sits, and mm -hmm. uses the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So it's not, it's not and he gone. Does, and you're saying he's doing selling drugs, too? I'm saying there was a wallet left with weed mm -hmm. and a bowl and a credit card at our front mm -hmm. steps. Mm -hmm. It's not gone. They're still there. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, other. Yes, and they used to be. There used to be four or five of them. I got a question about now you're into that with Adam. So, if he doesn't pay his taxes next year, is he going to get another grant? Are you going to help him get another grant? Or what's going to happen? With I don't that? know what's happening with that program, but um, I don't think it? people can come back. I, I don't really know. It's a state program. I imagine it's got to help. We got to um, end at some point. So the. Reason for helping with him with this grant was to try to help him out, knowingly, in the position he was in. Why was grant money even considered? Why didn't the house just get bought and cleaned up and went out for tax sale? Well, things have changed in the last month since I helped with that. And he's not living there anymore, but at the time he was. And... Uh, he, was living in he never got a, uh, you know, he still doesn't seem to be interested in selling. I think it would be nice, but. If it, he hadn't got the grant, it went on up for taxes mm -hmm. and somebody would have bought mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And now it would be cleaned mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I, I was wrong to help somebody. Sorry. But it wasn't that you helped somebody <laughs> that was wrong. It's, Seemed like that. It, yeah, it should help somebody down the the tunnel. Was like, yeah, I my didn't problem realize. Is, is you were helping out, and I don't have a huge problem with that. But you're helping out a druggie, but by the sound, you got this lady that's worried about paying her taxes, and you got neighbors that have a commune or whatever it is going. And wouldn't that be something better to spend time on than a drug house? Hey, that would be a 
tough choice if I had to choose between West Woodbury and okay. South Woodbury. <laughs> so let's go ahead to next year's taxes. So it's going to go up for public tax sale. It'll be a, it'll be two no, or three more years. years. Two three years, and then we'll be back up to. Mm. Unless somebody. Yeah, buys I'm hoping it somebody. I'm hoping he can decide to sell it in the meantime, because I would like to see it. Um, I would like to see it fixed up. Yeah, that would. Yeah, that would be absolutely mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Uh, anything All else right. for the town treasurer, Ms. Brandy? No, money is coming in, which is great. One thing that I'm going to nip next year is, is predated che checks. <laughs> um, already today I've got a check that's dated for October 22nd. And now it's my babysitting job. And, um, so next year when it comes around, I'll be sending out a notice beforehand that I will not accept checks that are dated for October 22nd. It's just, that's one check I can't lose. You can't just send it back and say, deposit, hold this until. Oh, I could. Mm. But I didn't give them any. I feel like I should have let them know ahead of mm. time. Do you want to talk about the payment to shelter construction during the treasurer's report? Uh, that's sure. not up to me. I cut okay. the check. He did the work. He okay. sent the no, letter so in. You want to okay. talk. Well, actually, he ha he hasn't we can talk really, about that. He hasn't really finished the work. Um, and it's been a pretty strange um, a relationship with him. Um, you know, he originally did the audit. Um, beginnings of it in March, um, and of course it was still plenty of snow on the ground. Um, and there are a couple of things that he didn't do, and then I, you know, it's been very poor communication between me and him, and I've been communicating with him more now as a member of the town hall mm -hmm. uh, committee. Um, so I finally called Efficiency Vermont. To, he kept on mentioning this, re, uh, that he had sent his, I was trying to get a copy of the report, and he mentioned that he had sent it into Efficiency Vermont for them to figure out how much the town would get um, for reimbursement. Um, so finally, after not getting the report from him, I, I contacted Efficiency Vermont. And they didn't have the analysis report either. Hmm. Um, so they contacted him. Um, he thought that they didn't need, need it, which doesn't make sense because he did it for the town office. Um, hmm. But anyway, um, he did contact me, um, and he sent that report into Efficiency Vermont. Um, but then he asked me, uh, I asked him, if he had, um, and he did send a report with the amounts of money. Um, we were trying to get that in time for that ARPA meeting, um, which we didn't have at the time of the ARPA meeting. But um, he had on there to spray foam on the, um, the granite sill of the building, so, um, or to, to the enclosure. And the crawl space, the the space. space walls. So I sent him an email asking him, well, does that mean that you're going to build the enclosure for the crawl space? <laughs> and he said, no, we'll, no spray, crawl we'll space. spray it on the granite that's underneath there. So that told me that he hasn't even looked at the underneath he of the building to understand what's going on there. Um, so I sent him an email uh, yesterday. Um, saying that I felt that he, he really should come back and do a complete inspection mm. of the town hall for this report. Um, so I don't think we should pay him anything until um, either we should either, you know, and I will call Efficiency Vermont to talk to them about this, but I think we, we should either get another contractor to come and do the whole damn thing over again or we should get him to come and actually see, because he couldn't see the underneath of the building right. in March. Um, to actually and he also didn't go in the attic. No, and he didn't go in the attic. He's kind of going by my yeah. my impression of being up there mm -hmm. in the attic. Um, so, um, we do now have some pictures from when Jan Lewandowski was there. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyways. So when you're doing the uh, energy audit, they pull up the thermal camera. And he did do a thermal camera with the walls. Um, he didn't go up into the attic. He didn't have a ladder 
long enough. That was the yeah. reason when he came in March. Um, he did the blow test, um, yeah. and he did um, scan the walls. Um, so, um, so yeah. So he just didn't really understand the, you know, the, what we're dealing with with the building. Um, so. For me, I would feel better if he actually came and finished, you know, his inspection to, and then put together a report based on that. Um, um, to me, we're paying for something that was sort of half done and, and that we've been waiting almost eight months for, six or eight months. So, um, and I'm happy to talk to the business of Vermont about holding on to the payment until the report is completed. Right. I mean, to, to me, it's not completely. Well, the, the only reason it's important, I mean, we kind of know what has to be done. Yeah. And the only reason this is important is is if there is some kind of subsidy from Efficiency Vermont. Mm -hmm. There will be some type of reimbursement subsidy from Efficiency so, Vermont. So, for that reason, we kind of need to have him do the complete job. All right. Job. Well, that's what I, I, that's what I suggested to him. And, uh, the email that I sent out yesterday to the past one that mm -hmm. I felt that he should come back and take a look at the under under part of the building and um, mm -hmm. and then give us you know what he would do to um, mm -hmm. remedy that situation and then how much it would cost. Mm -hmm. Has the new owner been brought up to speed about any work that's going to be done to the town hall? New owner that purchased the store. They don't own the town hall. Okay, and they don't need to know. Deed. What? It's still in their it's they, deed. They That's own. right, but they own the land. They don't they own, own the land. town hall. They have nothing to do with what goes on in the town hall. But if we withdraw, they get the town hall. Yeah, if we stop using it. Yeah, it hasn't happened since 1842, so. We have to use it at least happen. once a year. Right, but I figured... We're not being good neighbors. The old, the old right. owners were looped in and knew... Well, they were there. They, I haven't even met this guy yet, so if he wants to know anything about it, he... Have you met him? Yes. Yeah? Person. Really? Shook his hand. Yep. Yeah. I haven't met him. I haven't even... Well, this car was there a few days after they first bought it, but it hasn't been there for a while, so... Chris, you can, could you make a point of order? Yes, please. You still have a motion on the floor that you haven't voted on yet. The, to what? You have a motion on the floor you haven't voted on yet. Which voted? Which you made a motion, you seconded oh, and you made. to abate the three hundred dollars. Oh, that one. Oh, you okay. Didn't vote on it. I thought we had. Okay. My apologies. Oh, oh, thank you for the point of order. All those in favor? Yeah, the motion was to abate the tax bill of three hundred and four dollars and eighty three cents. Aye. Second it. You want second? It was. It was second. Favor. Okay. I guess with a two member select board when you second it, it's still it's, it's it's well you can't assume but you still, need, still, to still need to go through the process. <laughs> <laughs> so do you agree, uh, Chris, that we should hold on to this bill? I do. I'd like Michael to feel comfortable following up okay. on it and then I'll um, I'll you know, let, share my conversation with Efficiency of Vermont about mm -hmm. this. So I appreciate that because I wouldn't mind being involved yeah. to understand a little bit more in detail. Yeah. I'll try to do that tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Michael. <sighs> I mean, this person did my house many years ago and did a great job. Um, and I think the town office he did a good, good work on, but I don't know what's going on with the town hall. So I'm kind of surprised. I think because um, I spoke to Will in the last month, and mm -hmm. kind of like the same as everyone else, it's hard to find help. Yeah. And he mentioned mm -hmm. actually about getting out of doing all the energy efficient properties. He's getting mm -hmm. too old to go into attics and do the work and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the, probably one of the main reasons is probably not be able to find help. Yeah. Everybody has that problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm all set with the treasurer's report. All right, thank you, Brandy. Uh, with that, uh, Chuck, would you give us the town highway report, please? Yeah, uh, we've got the roads all honed up and they're 
pretty fair shape now. We'll have Claude come back first of next week, start over. Get them straightened up and decent for the fall. Uh, the brush chopping, we've made one pass around most of the town. We've got the Valley Lake Road to do and the Bailey Bridge Road left to do. And then we will start on the second round. We're, we got replaced one culvert on the county road today and we got two more to replace over there. Which will be happening depending on the weather in the next week or so. Any updates on the truck? No. We won't know the new one. We won't know anything until the first November, uh, first of October. Okay. And the five fifty. The five fifty. Still up there. They're working on it. I called him last Monday, and mm -hmm. they've got the transmission done and got the doors on it, mm -hmm. and they're working on the full board. So, shall I tell about my call from Upson? Or do you want to oh, do that? Oh, you had a call? Yeah, yeah. I thought I sent you an email. You did, but I didn't <laughs> realize that you had a call. Okay. So, I got a call from Dave Upson. Uh, he's the town manager in Hardwick. Brandy had tried to send him the six, $7,000 check. I haven't cut it yet. I yeah, said. well, don't cut it yet. No. So, <laughs> um, and he said that was not what the agreement was. Now, we thought, the board thought that That's what Greg and I the thought option too. was, I figure, you know, the way you explained it to us, that uh, the option was to either keep trading work or just pay them $7,000. So we decided to just pay $7,000 because we were down a man. And just for this year. Like for that. this yeah. year. And then next year we would have went back. But now he's saying that he wants to be paid for last year. Now he's saying that we owe him for last year, but last year I understood that they didn't like need, need all of our trucking or whatever it was. They didn't, and we bought the gravel, the town of Woodbury bought the gravel and resurfaced Richardson Road at the harbor. At the harbor. Yeah, and that wasn't enough? Or was he it just... seemed like it was, because the way I got it figured out was a little over $5,000. Yeah. And he says he's got it figured out to be Three thousand, but he's also got the plowing of West Woodbury figured out to be twelve thousand. Yeah. And they get up there and they work for thirty minutes, yeah. and they're done. Well, mm -hmm. twelve thousand dollars worth of plowing is a lot of times up there. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, he said it was Upson's understanding that we either give them seven thousand dollars worth of brush cutting, which I don't know how they figure. What's the hourly for brush cutting? You must have uh, figured, I it out we figured it out. I, I, I can't quote it. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it's yeah. $165 an hour. Yeah. So that would be like a couple of weeks of brush cutting. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Ten days, actually. Ten days. Whoa, yeah. Okay. And, uh, well, but let it, yeah, he said if we had to pay cash, it would be twelve to $15,000. Well, first off, I got to call him. Yeah. And we'll probably have to make a settlement on last year's of some mm -hmm. if he wants seven thousand. Because I figure we had five tied up in it. Mm -hmm. But we've we'll also see. decided that we're going to buy new tires, put them on the low pro, so we don't have to unchain and chain every day we go up, and we're going to plow oh. ourselves. All mm -hmm. right. And Great. To hell with that. Great. You looked at you. Did you watch that uh, HCTV? I did. Yeah, I'm surprised your wife let you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got help enough? Well, one of the select board. Uh, help enough? Yeah. One of the select board members up there just was very. I mean, he, he yeah, said that we've been getting, enough. we've been getting the, we've been giving poor Hardwick a raw deal. Yeah. For years. Yeah. 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 So. You wait till I see. <laughs> I don't want to be there. He'll know what raw deal is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So you're gonna pursue that? Yeah. Uh, but if he wants the seven thousand dollars for l the money for last year. Then. Well, Greg and I were talking, and uh, I'm gonna start out at thirty-five hundred. We okay. figured we got five thousand tied up in it. Another yeah. thirty-five hundred is 
over 8,000, and I think that's plenty. Yeah. And we'll be done with them. Mm. If I get too rambunctious about it, they won't get anything. Mm. Mm. The way I'm looking okay. at it. Okay. So you, did, you said you graded and resurfaced Richardson Road? We didn't grade it. We resurfaced okay. it and, okay. and done the trucking. Oh. We had a guy up there for, uh, I've literally wrote down, it's been long enough now, so I don't, <laughs> I think it was four days we were up there and resurfaced it. Okay. And the town, the town of Woodbury paid for the gravel to do it because we wanted mm -hmm. to be square with them for mm -hmm. plowing North Woodbury. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is where we are. Huh. Well, nice try. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and a lot of the problem we've had is with Tommy not being decisive enough to make up his mind what he wants to do. Hmm. Greg was after him every other day there last fall to get him well, to, to, so we could do something in there to pay. Yeah. Well. And now we've got a mess. Hmm. It really didn't start until they had a new town manager. That's right. Yeah. It's been good for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that interesting? And we went ahead and did that uh, Nichols Pond Road project at his suggestion. Well, that was Meyer's suggestion yeah, more. Well. But they were in a hand in hand. Yeah. But, um, so we're going to, we're going to buy some decent studded tires mm -hmm. on that low pro. It's probably going to cost four to five thousand this year, but that's still less than the seven thousand we were gonna pay. Yeah. Hmm. And we should get three to four years out of them tires if we if they change them in the springtime the way it should. Yeah. So hmm. So when did they when they were doing it, what time did they get up there in the morning? Okay. We're going to be there first thing. Okay. Because that's been a bitch up there. There's no school bus route up there anymore, is there? Yeah, well, I mean, there, there are kids. Be. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There must be. Yeah, absolutely. Kids, there are kids that go to school, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But we're going to... Right now, the plan, and this could change some, but the main plan right now is it's going to leave town garage, come to school, plow school driveway, mm -hmm. go to West Woodbury, catch mm -hmm. Buck Lake, Bailey Bridge... Town Farm Road, town offices. On the way back? Yeah. yeah. But they should be back in town by 6 o'clock. Because mm. they start at 4. Yeah. Mm. And it ain't going to take long to dust this place out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Put a little sand down and go up mm -hmm. and do that. We've done it twice with that low pro last winter when all this arguing started, and it takes. Anywhere from 32 to 36 minutes to pile Westwood Bay. Time from leaving the shop? No, from the time you get up there. We were, we were trying to do it as if Hardwick was doing it. And from the town line, what Hardwick, Woodbury town line, up and pile everything up there. It takes 32 to 36 minutes. How many miles is there up there? Three. Three miles. $12,000 12, $12, a winter. That's pretty expensive per mile. Mm. No, he, but he said a lot of it was overtime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Realistically, if you plow it, it's probably on the weekend or after hours. Not to be no. early in the morning, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If it snows on it the weekend. It cruises up to overtime, but you know what? No, that 30 yeah. minutes a day ain't going to make much difference to his overtime. No. He's still going to have the overtime. Yeah. He's still going to be up there. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. And the thing that is, the thing that is, our turnaround's half to three quarters of a mile down the road on uh, what is that Brook? Brown Hill? No. Cape Brook. Cape Brook. Cape, Cape Brook. Yeah. So he plows right by the turnaround and goes up to the T and turns around for the, with the hybrid town truck, even anyway. if they're not plowing up there. <laughs> so they're plowing a third of it uh -huh. already. Yeah. I don't get it. Mm. I mean, uh, I thought at seven thousand dollars a year we were being more than generous. Mm. They figure they plow fifteen times a year. That's it. Wow. 
Jeg tror ikke engang, at det er en natur dammi Ja, frugtet dag. Det kan almindeligt være truck, det Ja. Um, but then and I guess it's all I got. We didn't get the woman old Corey wrote the sign <coughs> last week, but mm -hmm. it's on the agenda for tomorrow. Okay. It's gonna be on the lower side of the road yeah. up there. And they might yeah, I've no I went up there today and uh there was somebody parked up right on the edge of that road. There has been it. But if we you way. know, I don't see why you know, we wouldn't do it for Coleman, but I don't see why we couldn't throw up that little section of road. You know, I mean Swenson basically took over the class four road up there without any paperwork or permission. What well, class four road's uh I don't remember the name of it. The one that used to go out where yeah, their new entrance is now. Yeah. Yeah. Core entrance. Yeah. So, so, I don't know. If you ever go up there, Chris, you might take a look and see yeah. whether. I mean, I've been up there a good bit, but. Yeah. I, don't know. I have a problem encouraging that people like that, having mm -hmm. thrown that road up. Mm hmm. You throw up yeah. one class four road yeah. to somebody and just hand it to them? Yeah. It's just going to be a... Well, well this is not a... Road. I mean, this is... We've already done we've it. We've already... I mean. We've already done... We've already replaced it. So it's just a little section that was replaced with all that hoopla last year. So... You could just declassify it to a trail and then the town would still own mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But not the thing is, it's not going to stop. They have four vehicles oh. once they're there at night. Yeah. Mm. And where are you going to put four vehicles on half an acre and still live there? So mm. this you is talking just about tents there? Yes. Mm. Where are they going to the bathroom and stuff? In that little tent they got set up. It's a, I guess it's a little porta potty. Hmm. Wonder where they throw that. <laughs> they told they told Bob Martin they take it to. A place. I mean, I, he told me, but I don't want to pass it on because I'm not sure if that's true. But, no. So they're living there? Oh, yeah. They live there? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. They had two dogs out in the camper one of them hot days up there. Mm -hmm. So I called Kim Silk and sent him up. I don't know what did happen to that. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to him. He probably kicked him out. The pole of that camper is about 20 feet from the center of the road, so it's huh. still really not out of the right. It's not out of the right away. Uh, yeah, I thought you measured that. it. Uh, no, I guessed it, no, okay. but I went back and measured it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's 20 feet. Hmm. What is the what is the measurement of the class four? 25 feet. 25. From the center. From the center. Both yeah. sides. Yeah. Yeah. Same as class three. Three rods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I just signed my papers so you can see that. That's... That other road is not even on their property. So they they actually own a little bit of land on the right hand side of the road up there? Mm-hmm. What? Well, yeah, I was just trying to help her understand what they own there, and uh, she sent me a Google map. <laughs> you yeah, know, that's not gonna work. I don't know. I think the town should sue Coleman Parker for. Yeah. Even some yeah. of that. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't tell them what they're getting into. I'm sure he didn't. Mm -hmm. And if you want to help them, I think that's the direction you should go in, mm -hmm. is getting them to sue him. Because mm -hmm. in the wintertime, it's going to be a shit show up there. We yeah, it is. Uh. Corey's driving as it is up there mm -hmm. with, you can see their, their tracks. They're taking mm -hmm. a wide corner, but their ass end is right it's in the right oncoming in, lane. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. right there. So then you got their vehicles parked because mm. nobody plows that. They're living in a camper already, so they can't afford plowing. 
I would think your time would be spent better that way than it would be throwing our road up. Mm. Good. Are they going to be moving a year around in that camper? I'm thinking. That's what they said. Isn't zoning, doesn't that fall under some zoning issues? It should. It should. Mm. I mean, Camper's not really a structure, though. It's not a permanent It's not a permanent yeah. structure. There were people that had a tent up there last year at the, you know, a yurt. Up. A yurt. Yeah. Mm. There are a number of situations. Like yeah, but he's got 10 acres of land. Yeah. If, they build, if they build a yurt, that's different. And I think that's a How is that different? A yurt is a structure. It's got oh, you know, walls and oh, I thought you said meant that a year they can build a year. I'm gonna say Bob. I think Bob mentioned that the one of the meetings meant before, if you live in a camper, it has to be moved every so many months. Movable. Movable. Has to be moved every well, so much. Well, he's gonna make months. that. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was correct. Yeah. Has to be mobile. Like could be moved. But I don't think they actually physically have to move it on their land. But I'll check that out. That's the point. But our zoning doesn't address that. Yeah, no. it's state. Mm. But this this land was sold off from other parcels, right? And that was probably an illegal subdivision to begin with. That's what I'm saying. No. Yep. So I think is I legally I think something ought to be done there. Colin originally bought that from somebody else who used to live up there. I can't remember. His who. mother bought that. All that land up there, and then split it between him and his brother. Mm -hmm. But that little piece he bought from Ainsworth. Yeah, Ainsworth. Yeah. That's the name I couldn't remember. But he bought that piece um, a while ago. I'm not sure when. Long, yeah, quite a yeah. while ago. Mm -hmm. but he could buy did it. Peter Myers ever own that? They owned the farmhouse. They didn't own all that land. No, no nope. way up there. No. Mm. And I think he bought that property from Ainsworth after he had. Um, you know, suggested that the town move the old quarry road to right. um, the piece that um, he probably thought he could sell it to he, us. He couldn't have because he basically requested that the town build that road that he later, you know, kind of screwed us for to be able to kind of kind of yeah. <laughs> kind of. I'd say he bet you were over the rail jet. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what he does, right? What do you really think? That's what he does. Um, but yeah, he bought that. I mean, obviously, he had to own that before he could suggest that uh, the town move the, the uh, old quarry road. Yeah, I don't know the whole. I don't remember. I don't know the whole history, but there was a time. I mean, when when the culvert on Cabot Road washed out. We were the town was using that as a bypass, yeah, right? Yeah, they were. And, and then all of a sudden, he decided to, and then it went back to, I don't know, it's always well, that's, been that's there. That's when that was built, the, the spur. Mm -hmm. that we, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. when it was built when the overwashed out of the yeah. village. Oh. Uh, and that's why we paid all that damn money to keep that open. Mm -hmm. case something like Comes that like happened. It happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need that road mm -hmm. mm -hmm. bypass. So I went, went in there today, and I <laughs> I was going to turn around in the next property, but I was stuck going down there. I didn't really feel safe turning around, so I went all the way back down <laughs> to uh, Blake Hill. <laughs> oh, then the old quarry road? Yeah. yeah. That road's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. No. How'd you like that building that sits right on the edge of the... Right away down there. Kind of look. Yeah, I don't see any. I think I saw the top of a tent way out in the field. And this is the one right mm -hmm. down there. There's a driveway and a building. The shed. That's right yeah, there. the shed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's living in that. She is. And Never there's seen. No, there's no well, car or anything. She's been in a mental institute, I guess. Yeah. That's why I haven't done anything about mm -hmm. making too big a scene of that. But mm. that's in the town right away too. Mm. Mm. Yeah.
Have you heard if she's living up there, Brandy? I haven't spoken to her father lately. Yeah. I think she was she was sleeping in the tent that's out in the field. Yeah. That was the spring, right? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that old dragon bus she was running around in is back up there. Mm. And come down by the house, but I couldn't see who was driving it. Mm. Are the horses there? Um, I think they. The horses from Cows were condemned. They were taken, okay. away, taken away. But her stallion that was just purchased for, from her father just purchased um, is for hers. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. That's not still up there, though, is it? I don't know. I haven't seen it. I've been traveling up and down mm -hmm. that road something. I haven't seen it now. But. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's a long ways from West Woodbury. <laughs> that's a long ways around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'm looking for approval to go ahead and buy tires for that truck and get this under headway and we'll go plow it ourselves. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. And would you consider talking to David Upson? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am. Yeah. I'm trying to get him to return my call and so. Yeah, I don't know how he found me in Hardwick, but he did. Uh, he was, well, he yeah. retired there. He was a state trooper. He quit being a state trooper, so he ought to be smart yeah. enough to be able to do that. <laughs> hmm. All right, Chuck, anything else? Um, mm -hmm. I don't think so. All righty. So, should move on to the uh, ARPA recap from the um, special meeting on the 18th. Um, this was available to everybody and there's still some that are posted up on the bulletin board if people want to have a look at it. But, um, I don't understand, do you want me to just sort of rifle through these really quick? Is that your idea of a recap? I don't know. I don't, I don't think we need to do that. Okay. So, well, unless anybody is interested and doesn't know, didn't get the no. message to come to the meeting last week. You were on the ARPA mm -hmm. committee, weren't you? That was for Michael. I did. I have a copy. I That's a, the, the new one? Oh, the new one, no. This is just the... Uh, That's the CV MOU. Fiber. Yeah, CV Fiber. Oh, okay. That's MOU. CV Fiber MOU. Oh. Yeah. Um... So in terms of things that would have to get done quickly, if we want to take advantage of CB Fiber's offer for having broadband connections basically from the line to individual homes, I haven't seen a map from anybody yet. I don't know if you saw anything. I did. It um, wasn't... Yeah. She did send me a map. I thought I had sent it around. Okay, I haven't seen it. It just had um, a bunch of dots on it, basically. Okay. <laughs> it did one th one interesting thing though that I thought about after the meeting when Mike McGlynn asked about West Woodbury. I realized that West Woodbury is going to be like five miles from anything that they any you know central office our central piece of equipment that they put in anywhere else in Woodbury and, and come oh. to find out they had figured that out that would be come from Hardwick. It would come from Elmore or Hardwick? Hardwick. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So uh, so uh, so the long and short of it is that in order to take advantage of this, um, they're asking for fifty K and that would be matched um, buy a grant, but if we want to take advantage of it, we have to make that application by the 15th of September. So that is the, that is the, that's the only one that is super time sensitive at this point. Ready. Yeah. You said again. They've asked for 50K right. from us. If we pay in, we would 
be eligible for a matching grant where there's, based on what we heard, there's a pretty high likelihood that we would receive it. So we would match that 50K. So we'd have 100K. And that $100,000 would be used to connect the main lines to individual homes. So they're not asking for money to run the lines. The lines are going to be run regardless if we pay in or not. But if we do pay in, we get another 50 via grant funding, and that helps us offset the cost, hopefully, because it was a $1,700 cost. Yeah, to run it from the, to pool, run it to from the pool to your house. Depending on how far you are. That's that's an average. That's an average. So, that yeah. was it. That was yeah. an average. Yeah. That's what she gave us was an average. Yeah. Um, every, it's ever going to be unique every time. Probably not. Mm -hmm. um, and that would help keep the subscription rates. And that would reduce the overall mm -hmm. subscription rates because that is what is essentially going to be paying for upkeep on the system, regardless. So is that going to is that going to benefit all homeowners in Tampa No. Do you didn't get a map on how much we you're going to get for your hundred grand yet. Well, we just talked about that. We they sent them out a map. I haven't seen it yet. Diana's seen part of it. But the map just shows all the houses in Woodbury that have um, insufficient that, whatever that underserved underserved right, yeah. which is basically everybody. Yeah. It, the, um, the thinking was with, with that money um, from the pole to the homes that if there were people that. Um, you know, perhaps the whatever the expense was was a stretch for them with their income. That there would be financial assistance, assistance. Yeah. and then those folks that could afford it and didn't have an issue with you know paying whatever it costs. That um, that would be so. Would That's, be, I didn't understand that at all. I thought it was going to be connecting for anybody. That's what I thought. It would That's be true. anybody who requests. Anybody yeah. who makes the request. As yeah. Long and, until then, without a, an income eligibility, that would be a uh, nightmare. Now you said anybody that requests, you said anybody that meets the request. What? No, no, anybody no, no, no. who requests. Anybody who requests. Because yeah. essentially, with the best, I think, Comcast service that you can get here, you're technically still underserved. Mm -hmm. okay. No one can get to 100 megabytes per second in town. And so what's far as we thousand dollars to cover all of that? that we don't know. To be seen. There, well, yeah, but the, you know, that's their estimate, and they agreed to do um, yeah. what's needed. So if it goes over. They seem to have a lot of money mm -hmm. from other places, mm -hmm. a lot of yeah. other state and federal yeah. grants. Yeah, because it's all grant funded, oh. grants, bond sales, and then the subscriber fees once it's active. I would just mm -hmm. hate to see us spend fifty thousand dollars of taxpayer money, and then having. A certain amount of people in town have to pay their own monies to have it hooked up. No, I don't. Kind of, think, kind of like double dipping. I don't think that's the way it is. I think. Well, I mean, summer. every well, Michael said that, but I don't think that's right. I think the money is to go for everybody who wants to. Yeah. To who asks? Connect to pay right. the connection to pay the fee, the connection not to pay the. I understand that, but it's a hundred thousand dollars. Say everybody wants it in town. Hundred thousand dollars isn't going to cover that. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, My thing is is. If you have, you're in a contract anyway. Everybody who has Com Comcast or AT and T, they have a contract. You're locked in mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to pay the fee to have it undone. And then if you can afford it, you pay the 17. And if there is enough to get it waived, filling it out. But it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Well, people who have Comcast might not want to upgrade to broadband right away. I have Comcast. I, I'm fine. Ha totally mm -hmm. happy with. Mm -hmm. all, although the subscription rate was lower than Comcast. That would be the factor for us too. Yeah. I, we're happy with the internet service. It just yeah. if you could save money, you're not. Um, I don't have Comcast, and I am not happy with mine. And I'm right on the 14. Yeah. So you could have. We might Comcast. have two bites. Yeah. I mean, when the kids were doing homeschool and poor McKenna was getting kicked off that internet all, all the time. time. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's unfortunate. We have Starlink, and we've had it for two months. It's freaking amazing. We can have 10 gadgets, the kids, boyfriends, they're over, TV's running, no glitching. Mm. And it's satellite, it works awesome. So have you weighed all these different options so what it's gonna cost the taxpayers? And you're talking about other systems. Yeah. It's the money, the $50,000 that the town is 
is doesn't come out. Been requested. It doesn't come out. It's not from the town. It's our. It's it's our. It's our. It's our. It's our budget. Yeah. All right. Well, I misunderstood that. It's all ARPA. Yeah, it's ARPA. This is, ARPA. Everything that was in this conversation yeah. is, is, is yeah. ARPA, ARPA directed funding. Mm -hmm. But down the line, you're right. I mean, if the subscriber fees aren't high enough, <clears throat> people are going to have to be paying for it. So you're also putting a limit, like $1,700 per house. No. That was just an average. That was an average. An average. And okay. you got some people that live yeah. quite much, a ways much off, further yeah. off the road. Good yeah. we won't have to go out to Brandy's, though, because that would skew the average. No, but you might have to go to mine. <laughs> <laughs> Twice, right? <laughs> So no, you got houses, yeah. for instance, I'm just yeah. gonna say like mine. Mm -hmm. Mine's a mm -hmm. off. Yeah. You know. That's gonna be quite a yeah. chunk. When money decides that. he wants it up camp, there'll be ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm yeah, so anyway, there's a group that's been working really hard on this for a couple of years now. And at least a couple of years. Yeah, more than that. And uh, it's been a few years. they're really they're finally getting to the point where something's gonna be done. They're ordering all the cable. They've got a deal with the provider. They're um, going to start. They've had, you've seen guys out doing surveys and checking on poles and stuff for the last few months. Yeah, we've got a friend of mine that ties the wires. Mm. What? I have a friend of mine that ties the wires. Oh, yeah. He brands them. He, that's what he does. So, um, <clears throat> and there's no question to what you guys There was a person who came to the meeting last no week, was really. It's happening no matter what. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah was really very helpful and she would have come tonight if um but we'd asked if we'd asked <laughs> but she, she was very helpful very knowledgeable and you know when this ARPA money first came about there was some talk about and maybe they waived this because somebody said something about they waived it if you weren't getting yeah yeah tremendous were. amount of money yeah. that maybe that this internet wasn't the best Use of the money in the government's eyes. No, this no, was one of, this was one was of the designated. Um, this uh, was fair game right from the beginning. Yeah, right from oh, the beginning. Okay. From the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Even after they changed the changed the rules so that we could do. They released the they released the rules so that it could be more flexible. But yeah. this but but high speed internet was always part of the. And also the planning plan. commission did a survey last year, and the ARPA group did a survey this year, yeah. and they all broadband came up. This was the se this this was the primary. behind roads. This was the second highest in the survey for for the ARPA survey. So it was but roads. It's a, money yeah. for it's, a t it's a ton of money. For most the majority that's of our town is non-residents. That's so it's a pill to for us. Uh, but the woman who came and spoke, spoke to us, they aren't yeah, really they aren't going to be serving. Another couple months right here. They, yeah. Which is yeah. a huge yeah. chunk. So you're looking yeah. at 300 homesteads is now going to get. Is Hypothetically, yeah, fifty thousand, and right. and for the people in here are saying we're not going to change. We we like what we have, so therefore, is it? Yeah. Well, we don't know yet. Would I mean I'm kind of happy with Comcast now, but if something I, comes know, better, I would love to pay less than I pay. I mean, I only have it for the internet service. I don't get any of the other crap that comes with it. Um, and I, you know, I'm paying seventy dollars, eighty dollars mm -hmm. a month, which seems like a lot of money to me. Um, and if the Subscription rate is lower from uh, CD fiber. I'm, I'm going to change in a heartbeat. But and Comcast raises their rates raises time. their fee whenever they want. I mean, you yeah. can have, ask Skip Marcusani about his deal with oh, Comcast with the town hall. <laughs> <laughs> can anybody that's on the, the, any of the back roads? I don't remember Comcast being even available. No, no, it's, just not not available. Not. it's just the Route 14. It's, it's the only the Route 14 they're, they're corridor running the wires, so it would be available, and then. It would be. We're going to do all the roads. Yeah. 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 It would be the first opportunity that we have essentially full town access to high speed. And they'll be starting this fall, or mm -hmm. this late summer. Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of almost fall, mm -hmm. yeah. hopefully. Shame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, because this is the one that seems to be um, well thought out and um, ready to go, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the $50,000. And I'm going to CB. CV fiber. I'm going to second that motion. That, just a quick question. Yeah, go ahead. You can still. Yeah. The $50,000, was that brought up at the eight, uh, 18th meeting? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Extensive. It, this well, is I the. Don't uh, know where, so I just you can, uh, no, you can look at my drafts no, if you want. No, no, no. But I just want to make sure that. There's also some hanging out on the no, board down there. Yeah. So, yeah. I've got one too if you want. Oh, good. Yeah, all the, here, just take a peek. Mm -hmm. All the cost breakdowns are in Good. there, just so you Good. see them. I just want to make sure that the $50,000 goes out there so people know. Yeah, it was part of the discussion. Because mm -hmm. it was yeah. it was part of the discussion with the ARPA committee mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So it didn't, we didn't come up with it on our own. So is there a contract or is there a something we, the town has to sign? There is a memorandum of well, understanding. We don't have to, in order to get the match, we just have to send a commitment letter. We don't have to sign the MOU by the 15th, by the 15th. of September, but we probably can. I just haven't read the whole thing yet. And they do, um, there was some question about whether they're going to like bill us every time they connect somebody, but that's not going to happen. We're going to give them the $50,000 and, and then they're going to report to us. Okay. Good. So it won't have to yeah. be on here. Yeah, so we don't have to dribble it out. <laughs> anyway, so there's a motion in a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, and then uh, there was another thing. I should have adjusted this or added this to the agenda. Uh, we learned at the meeting last week that our, our representatives to the CV, CV Fiber Board aren't really doing their job, and Michael uh, offered to step in as an alternative, as an alternate member so I'd like to nominate him to be our alternate member to the C V Fiber Board. I'll second the nomination. Any questions? Michael, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's a, it's a, I think it's important that Woodbury does its part on mm -hmm. getting this in town. Um, yes. Is there an important to a lot of people? Yeah, it was clearly a high priority in the even at the meeting, so, and those weren't all people who had filled out the survey. And the only question I had on this, mm -hmm. is just, um, I mean, does anybody have any idea what people's monthly rate is going to be when they hook? I can't seem to get an answer from anybody. Mm -hmm. the, the person who came and spoke to us who was on the board, I think she was the chair of the board, um, mentioned that they are non nonprofit. So they aren't out to make mm -hmm. money. So it'll be the minimum. I mean, it, I can't tell you what the figure is, and she couldn't either. But it's not like Comcast where they're, you know, needing to make a profit to to pay their um, shareholders or whatever. So it should. Yeah. There, these these entities, CV Fiber, and there's the whole state is covered by these. A communication union district. Yes, yeah, they're basically considered municipality. Um, so it's all not for profit. It's kind of like the old um, rural electric. Um, you know, back getting electricity to everybody. It's mm -hmm. basically the same idea. Yeah, they aren't really a cooperative, but they are. It's a made up of different towns, um, and the towns you know have reps that are on the board, and they mm -hmm. basically run the business. Um, there's one um, CUD communication union district called, I think it's East Central uh, Fiber. Um, they have been an establishment for quite a few years and pretty much have now have everybody within their, their towns um, served by it. If you want to check out the possibilities of what this will do for people, um, they do have a website. I would suggest uh, taking a look at it. Um, because they, they've been in an establishment for oh, 10 or more years. And you said that CU Fiber? Yeah, EC. EC. I, I think it's EC Fiber. East Central. East Central. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, politicians have been promising us this for years, <laughs> and uh, this seems to be... Uh, well, it's happening. The way it's happening. Yeah. It's actually happening. Yeah, I think that... I think if it was... I think they haven't idea that it's going to be affordable. Otherwise, they wouldn't yeah. be going so fast and so far with so much money. Mm, they're affordable, and the average person would there might be mm -hmm. different. And nonprofit is a, a lot of gray area nonprofit. That's not a great thing. Well, like you said, it's, it's a municipality, too. I mean, it's like town, a municipality. It's just questions that are unanswered. 
you're willing to step into this. And then it's pretty mm -hmm. important questions. Yeah, but well, we had plenty of chance to ask those questions. You didn't get answers. Well, we, we were Why a lot that? of questions and a lot of answers at that meeting on the 18th. And then questions weren't answered. Those particular questions. Mm. No, they left a lot of gray area. They didn't oh. You know, the, the state and the federal government are putting a lot of money and energy mm -hmm. behind these. Um, they certainly mm -hmm. aren't doing that with Comcast or Fairpoint or any of those. So mm -hmm. I, I would be very surprised if it's not cheaper. No, well, that would be. There were years better. ago when I worked for the Public Service Department, there. Um, Cable used to be a regulated utility, Correct. and now it's, it's not. So yeah. that that all changed, and there's no telling what they can do now. Mm -hmm. But this will that. be. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the next item, our attorney suggested that we talk about that in executive session. So the ongoing compliance. Yeah. So let's just go to. I'll make a motion that we go to executive session for Is this. Is that considered contracts? Excuse me. Is the ongoing compliance considered contracts? Uh, oh, for God's sake! Because you didn't warn it as, as such. Well, I'm warning it now. Well, you can't. What? Can't. You, you yes, can. Can. We can decide on a on. We can decide on an emerge executive session during the meeting if we want to. It's very transparent. What? It's very transparent. Well, no, we could wait and talk about it in three weeks. It's not that important, but so that would be. Yeah, we we'll change the. A1A to A1E. Well, should we wait and talk about it after it's worn? I don't think so. I think we're okay. okay. Why would you want to go into executive session to talk about compliance cases? That's what the lawyer recommended. The attorney just suggested it. I mean, we do, I guess it's really, there's really not much to tell. If you want, we can just talk about it. What does that mean to us? Why don't we just go ahead and talk about it? Well, let's just talk yeah, about it then. Let's move out of executive session. We've got a case in court that the previous select board agreed to send for zoning violation on Ainsworth Road. And um, eh, I don't even have a great file on that, but it's been back and forth to court a couple of times. There have been some improvements within the last few weeks. A few vehicles have been moved. There was another uh, status conference today, and uh, the owner did not show up to the status conference, so our attorney asked for another 60 days to continue to try to work with her. To Get sounds. the place cleaned up. Hmm? I mean, so the uh, the attorney would like to, you know, know how that how we feel about it. Don't start fighting if she don't show up. Mm -hmm. How many status meetings has she missed now? Uh, this would be the second, second one. Second one. Yeah. So it's just prolonging our expenses. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what the lawyer wants. Well, that's what the board decided to go to court. So. Well, I mean, to extend another sixty days doesn't make any sense. Okay. So, what would be? What would you suggest the alternative would be? Well, give them, give them ten days. Yeah. I mean, and then what? Why would you can't find them for not showing up? You can find them. What good does it do to find them? It can go <laughs> against the taxes. It would be a tax sale that it much can't, faster. It can't, though. can't. It has, to be, um, it has to be according to the, the law. And um, you can't find somebody for a zoning violation unless the court approves it. The court is the only one that can levy a fine on a zoning violation. 
and you've got yeah. about a 20% chance of getting that. Yeah. yeah. But can you put your letters on? Eventually, and eventually we can put, uh, we can get a, a, you know, a court order. Court order for a lien. For um, the fees and put a lien on the property for what we've spent on uh, on legal fees on this case. I'm sure it's up to a couple thousand dollars by now, if not more. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the only way we're going to get that. So yeah. basically, you got no way to force her no. to come to a meeting? No, you can't. Can't force them. Doesn't do them any good not to come though. And stands against them. <laughs> and they make it so hard. I mean, the attorney was explaining to me if somebody, even if you had a computer or a really sophisticated smartphone, you have to do all these different things in order to attend virtually. And, and they this, make it really this hard. person's taxes were paid up and everything. Yeah, I think so. I believe so. Yeah. Not interested in selling, which is too bad. You haven't sent the health officer up yet? No, I don't think they're living there. I mean, she's not living there. Oh, they're living there. They're living there. They're not living there. They are living there. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, they are. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. The state person who I don't have much faith in either, I won't even name his name, has been there a number of times. Mm -hmm. and has also given them uh, things to comply to, but um, mm. I don't I haven't seen. Mm. Okay. My personal input on this was you guys need to draw a line at what you're going to spend on the attorney because yeah. this can go and go and go mm -hmm. and go and you never know. Mm -hmm. Good chance. No, the board decided to go, go to court, so. Well, yeah, but you almost should put a Maybe a limit. So okay, we're gonna spend two, three, four thousand bucks on. The and then you don't this. have a resolution. Yeah. You, you, good chance if you spend ten, you're not gonna have money either. Well, uh, you know, I wouldn't have voted for it to begin with. <laughs> Real good. So who do you think is living there? Her and her kids, and now her new boyfriend. Her new boyfriend's in there yeah. too. Yeah. She has kids there. any cars yes, here. she does. And, uh, well, you see a lot of used cars that's over in front of the other place. Yeah. The kids no, are always yeah. in the road, crossing back and forth, across that road. Yeah. Ready to direct and everything else. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, it's another thing that the town doesn't have much jurisdiction over. Right. The health of people. They live. The state doesn't either. Mm -hmm. And it's hard with a shortage of housing, especially mm -hmm. low income mm -hmm. housing. Something like that, honestly, they, like we just said, I'd say 20% of it. Right now, in this day and age, it's probably 5%. And I bet it's not even that. Of? Success of doing something like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's no housing to put them in, and the state's like, they look at it and say, what are well, we going to do some, with this? Yeah, there's some, some of those tax cases, too. It's like, mm -hmm. you're going to throw somebody out of their house? If they're paying their taxes. No, if they're not. The state's not I mean, still, to. still, it's hard to sell right. somebody's home out from mm -hmm. under them because they can't mm -hmm. afford a few thousand they, dollars they worth they of taxes. But, but so even if you go in there and condemn that place, we don't have a con there's no way to condemn it. no law that authorizes us to condemn it. That happened years ago when I was on the board and we had a situation up on Cabot Road. We could not condemn. There's no authority. Now we've got a health officer though, maybe he'll think of something. Yep, we'll talk to we have a new health officer, Josh Corn, who's starting up and Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> I told them, I told them, you know, it's going to be some enforcement. It's not going to be like helping people be healthy. <laughs> yeah, just don't overwhelm it. Yeah. <laughs> he won't be here at all. Yeah, you can keep him busy. Sure, we can The only thing I can say is you should put a limit to say, what we're going to spend on this, how far we're going to go with this. Yeah. This can go on and on and on. The attorney's not going to stop. Mm. No. No, he's loving it. Mm. Yeah. Pretty sure. Well, not really. really not. Not. Being honest, awesome. it's yeah. very hard. It's even worse in today's day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fr and the judge is frustrated too because he likes to see some right. resolution. Some resolution, no, some motion. Well, I had to tell him today. I went over there. I was by there on the weekend, and I went over again this morning and said there have been some stuff that's been moved. 
So, you know, there has been some... Attempt. Attempt, some mm -hmm. small improvement. But. Yeah, that's... Hmm. So uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Wait, we still have executive session? No, we moved out of it. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Yep. Okay. Are you going to second the motion? Or? Motion, yeah. Second it.